Different cultures use different traditional numeral systems for naming large numbers. The extent of large numbers used varied in each culture. Two interesting points in using large numbers are the confusion on the term billion and milliard in many countries, and the use of zillion to denote a very large number where precision is not required. Ancient India the Indians had a passion for high numbers, which is intimately related to their religious thought. For example, in texts belonging to the Vedic literature, we find individual Sanskrit names for each of the powers of 10 up to a trillion and even 1062. One of these Vedic texts, the Yajur Veda, even discusses the concept of numeric infinity, stating that if you subtract Purna from Purna, you are still left with Purna. The Lalita Vistara Sutra recounts a contest including writing, arithmetic, wrestling and archery, in which the Buddha was pitted against the great mathematician Arjuna and showed off his numerical skills by citing the names of the powers of ten up to one, Talakshana, which equals 1053, but then going on to explain that this is just one of a series of counting systems that can be expanded geometrically. The last number at which he arrived after going through nine successive counting systems was 10,421, that is, a 1 followed by 421 zeros. There is also an analogous system of Sanskrit terms for fractional numbers, capable of dealing with both very large and very small numbers. Larger number in Buddhism works up to Bikesho Bikesho Juan or 10373821973888197644441306597846849648128, which appeared as Bodhisattva's maths in the Avatam Saka Sutra. Though chapter 30 in Thomas Cleary's translation of it we find the definition of the number and told as exactly 1010 asterisk 2122, expanded in the second verses to 1045 asterisk 2121 and continuing a similar expansion indeterminately. A few large numbers used in India by about 5th century BC, Laska 105, Koti, 107, Ayuta, 109, Niyuta, 1013, Parkoti, 1014, Vivara, 1015, Keshobhya, 1017, Vivara, 1019, Kotipakoti, 1021, Baula, 1023, Nagabala, 1025, Nahuta, 1028, Titalamba, 1029, Vyavastana Pajnapati, 1031, Haitiahila, 1033, Ninahuta, 1035, Hetvindriya, 1037, Samaptalamba, 1039, Gananagati, 1041, Akobini, 1042, Niravagya, 1043, Mudrabala, 1045, Savabala, 1047, Bindu, 1049, Savajna, 1051, Vibhutangamath, 1053, Abhida, 1056, Nirabhada, 1063, Ahaha, 1070, Ababa, 1077, Artata, 1084, Soganghika, 1091, Upali, 1098, Kumuda, 10,105, Pandarika, 10,112, Paduma, 10,119, Kathana, 10,126, Mahakatana, 10,133, Asamhaya, 10,140, Divijay Grini Shamani, 10,421, Bodhisattva, 10,317218388197764444130659768849648128, Lalita Vistarautra, 10,200 infinities, Matsya, 10,600 infinities, Kerma, 102,000 infinities, Varahab 103,600 infinities, Nursimhab 104,800 infinities, 
Vamana, 105,800 infinities. Parashurama, 106,000 infinities. Rama, 106,800 infinities. Krishna Raja, 10 infinities. Kaki, 108,000 infinities. Balarama, 109,800 infinities. Disavatara, 1,010,000 infinities. Bhagavata Purana, 1,018,000 infinities. Avatamsaka Sutra, 1,030,000 infinities. Mahadeva, 1,050,000 infinities. Prajapati, 1,060,000 infinities. Jyotiba, 1,080,000 infinities. Classical Antiquity In the Western world, specific number names for larger numbers did not come into common use until quite recently. The ancient Greeks used a system based on the myriad, that is 10,000, and their largest named number was a myriad myriad, or 100 million. In the Sand Reckoner, Archimedes devised a system of naming large numbers reaching up to, essentially by naming powers of a myriad myriad. This largest number appears because it equals a myriad myriad to the myriad myriad power, all taken to the myriad myriad power. This gives a good indication of the notational difficulties encountered by Archimedes, and one can propose that he stopped at this number because he did not devise any new ordinal numbers to match his new cardinal numbers. Archimedes only used his system up to 1064. Archimedes' goal was presumably to name large powers of 10 in order to give rough estimates, but shortly thereafter, Apollonius of Perga invented a more practical system of naming large numbers which were not powers of 10, based on naming powers of a myriad for example, would be a myriad squared. Much later, but still in antiquity, the Hellenistic mathematician Diophantus used a similar notation to represent large numbers. The Romans, who were less interested in theoretical issues, expressed one million as Dc's centina malia, that is, ten hundred thousand. It was only in the 13th century that the word million was introduced. Medieval India the Indians, who invented the positional numeral system, along with negative numbers and zero, were quite advanced in this aspect. Modern use of large finite numbers. Far larger finite numbers than any of these occur in modern mathematics. See for instance Graham's number which is too large to express using exponentiation or even tetration. For more about modern usage for large numbers see large numbers. Infinity. Main articles. Infinity and transfinite number The ultimate in large numbers was, until recently, the concept of infinity, a number defined by being greater than any finite number, and used in the mathematical theory of limits. However, since the 19th century, mathematicians have studied transfinite numbers, numbers which are not only greater than any finite number, but also, from the viewpoint of set theory, larger than the traditional concept of infinity. Of these transfinite numbers, perhaps the most extraordinary, and arguably, if they exist, largest, are the large cardinals. The concept of transfinite numbers, however, was first considered by Indian Jaina mathematicians as far back as 400 BC, 